Welcome, Exiles, to the new build, the new project, which is Strength Stacking, Pillar of the Cage God, Low Life, Bloodthirst. Now, you can see I already have 7.5k life, so it's doing pretty good, considering the fact we're level 69, and I haven't even killed Katavi yet. I'm about to do that quest. This is more life than I normally get on the majority of my builds. I'm sure it's maybe more life than you get on the majority of your builds, and you're thinking, why are you going so high life? What's going on here? Well... There was a post on the PoE Reddit where this guy had 14,000 life. And he wasn't even a strength sacker. He was a cyan, and granted his gear was, it was mint condition. It was perfection. It looked very good. And he was level 97. He had 14k life. That gave me the goal of something to beat. So the goal for this character is one, to beat 14k life. See how chunky we can make this guy be. We'll see if we can even get there. I don't know. His gear was legit. He wasn't a strength stacker. But his gear was like T1 life on everything, enchanted qualms for 15% increased uh, life modifiers. He had strength on basically every suffix. You know, he had he had some really good stuff, not to mention his passive tree was heavily specced for life. Now, he was doing a different build. He was doing Void Forge, but he's using the same thing I want to use here, which is Bloodthirst support. This is, let's see if I can find it, Bloodthirst support. This is a support that was just added this this league, which allows us to get 2% of our maximum life as flat fizz damage when we're on low life. So if we're using Petrified Blood, we can stay on low life, and then we can also take advantage of this thing to give us flat fizz damage. Now, this is really good for Pillar of the Cage God. This is a build that I have played many, many different times. I, this is one of the first builds I really like to play, and I kept replaying it different times. And originally when I played it, it kind of sucked. And it's been getting buffs over the years, basically just with uh, power creep and a few different things being added into the game where you get flat damage easier. You could get a lot more scaling for your attributes. Pillar of the Cage God has been getting better and better and better. And I think Bloodthirst takes it to a whole new level it hasn't been before because it, it gives us a way to scale our flat damage that works with our scaling of our percent damage. So you're scaling two things at the same time that are multiplying each other. I think it has the potential to have a decent a decent outcome. It really does. Because this scales a bunch of percent damage with your strength. And strength also gives you a nice thing, which is flat life. So I figure if I'm scaling a build with a ton of strength, a ton of flat life, a ton of percent life, we can get a really chunky character to get a lot of flat fizz from this support here, which will then be scaled by the strength scaling of Pillar of the Cage God. So that is what we're working on. My a few of my goals are getting above 14k life. Uh, I want to get above 3k strength, maybe even get close to 4k would be nice. Stuff like that is what I want to shoot for. Right now we're at 2300, we're level 69. I'll quickly scroll over your gear just to give you an idea of what our character is wearing right now. This gear is not min-maxed, but it's decent at this point. We have Albrons. This will be replaced eventually with rare boots if we, if we you know can afford to craft some decent rare boots. This belt, and this is going to be the same for all of these other gear pieces I'm going to show you. I basically bought synthesized items for the belt, the helmet, the amulet, and the gloves. They're around 30 to 100C. Those bases weren't too expensive. But the ring synthesized implicits, these were like 4X. These were kind of more expensive. But basically what we're doing here is we're crafting gear with strength essences to hit strength. And the goal is to eventually do some crafting with things like Ashling or Aisling to get hybrid strength decks or hybrid strength int and then craft on the other hybrid as another suffix. So we can end up getting uh, attributes on like jewelry and our and our gloves and our helmet to the case where we're getting over 100 plus strength for an e from each of these gear slots, whereas right now we have basically 50 or 60 flat on all of them, and we'll eventually be upgrading that. That's the plan of what I'm going with. This will take some money, this will take some investment to craft these things. We're gonna have to run a lot of betrayal, but I'm kind of excited to see where we can kind of push this to see how much HP we can get and how much damage we can get out of Pillar of the Cage God. Is Pillar of the Cage God strong enough at this point to, to be a com really competitive choice for a really good bosser and a really just tanky, chill playstyle? I think it is. But uh, we're going to find out how over the next few days here if I keep, continue to uh, keep upgrading this character, leveling it up, and getting some uh, more and more passives and gear and whatnot so that's the plan for the character hope you guys like it it's going to be chieftain it's going to be strong it's going to be high hp and uh let's go ahead and i'll give you a quick overview of what my plan is for my passive tree right now basically my plan is to grab 
as much strength as possible, a decent amount of percent life will be going for percent life wheel here, percent life, life wheel here, a bunch of stuff like that, going for a lot of jewel sockets, getting things like brawn jewels with you cannot be hindered. I already got a brawn jewel with you cannot be uh, inflicted with corrupted blood. Where is it? It's right here, I think. Yeah, so we're going to get some ailment immunity or some immunities to various ailments thanks to brawn jewels being cheap with these implicits. And then we're also doing things like we're doing a split personality. You see this pathing is kind of weird. It basically added like one more or a couple more nodes to my pathing to take it around awkwardly like this. But the end result is we're getting 58 strength, 58 life from each of these split personalities. So I thought that was kind of a cool little thing to do there. Uh, we're fully converting to fire. We're doing elemental overload. We just have to cap our accuracy. That's just a few of the things we're doing right now with the build. That's what it looks like. I'll update you guys as I progress this character. Maybe we'll do one update video before I do the full build guide, something like that. But that's what we're looking at. Strong Chieftain. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys know. Thank you for watching the video. As always, you guys have a good one. Peace out.